Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to bring you another Beltrass wig. Now, I'm loving these Beltrass wigs. They're so beautiful and they've got so much style and charisma and I'm even more excited about this one I'm reviewing today. So, this gorgeous wig we're going to be looking at today together is called Double Shot Bob. Now, I've been after a little sleek bob for a while. I've got Kai wig by Rennie of Paris and Melted Marshmallow and I love that one but I find that it falls in my face a little bit and that wig takes a bit of training you know to get it to stay out of your face and the thing that I was drawn to about Double Shot Bob was that it looked like it stays out of your face and I was looking at this for a while and then as we do we manifest things and I was looking on eBay and there was two wigs I was guided to. I was guided to Double Shot Bob, which in this particular colour I've got it in. So I bid on that one. And there was Drive on there as well by Ellen Villa. And I bid on both of these. But, you know, I, I didn't get the Drive wig. And I didn't rebid on it, you know, when I was outbid. Because I was kind of having a look around. And it looked like that also falls in the face a little bit and takes a bit of training. So I think I'm going to get Drive later down the line because I know so many of you would probably want me to review Drive by Ellen Villa. So I will get there at some point. But I won the bid on the Double Shot Bob and I was really excited because, you know, it just looks like a great wig to wear. So I'm really excited about this wig. I got this wig brand new with tags from eBay, half price. And the seller was amazing, you know, she sent me a lovely little note, she packed it all beautifully as well. So it was like Christmas Day when I got this wig. And I've transferred it from the box to the bag. I've sewn in wig clips and really that's it. I've literally tried it on one time, you know, took it off, thought, yeah, I'm going to try that on with you guys. And we're going to look at it together. So really this is a bit of an unboxing video with, you know, the bag, the bag to the hat or the box to the hat. So we're going to look at it together. So this wig is called Double Shot Bob. It's a heat friendly wig. So you can straighten it more. You can put curls in it. You can do what you want with these. And it's also hand tight. So it's very light and airy. And you know, this is one of the lightest wigs I've ever tried. So let's have a look at it together. This gorgeous color is brown sugar sweet cream. The real tongue twist is the colors. Like the last one I did. You know, it was that gorgeous kind of Stephanie Zahoni type wig that I tried on, Rosella, and that was in coconut brown sugar. And this is brown sugar sweet cream. Amazing. Okay, so the first thing I want to really get across with this wig is it's so light. Oh my goodness me. It's so light. If you're after a light wig, a wig that you really can't tell is on your head, this may be your wig. It's so light. Like, where's the hair? It's so light. I can't even tell I've got anything in my hand. That's how light it is. And it feels so nice. Now, obviously, this is a very flat wig. There's no permatease in this whatsoever. So it's going to sit very flat to your head. It's going to be very natural on. And the way the cap is designed as well, this is a great wig for anyone with hair loss. You know, whether, you know, you're going through hair loss or maybe wearing a wig for medical reasons, you know, this wig will feel nice on. And that's why they create the ear tabs in this way. So they also stay on, you know, much better if you've got no hair. So this is a great wig for wig wearing if you just want to wear a wig anyway, or if you're wearing a wig for medical reasons. And it's got a lace front that's pre-cut and it's got this kind of lace mono part as well or this you know this mono top so you can part this wig anywhere you want and it's got that gorgeous scalp effect so it's really natural looking and then you've got the hand tied lightness of the cap very breathable very light very airy very comfortable to wear and the bell tress label at the back and this has got um, bra strap style adjusters to make the wig tighter or loose to suit your hat now what I find with any mono top wig when you're putting it on, if you haven't got it so the bra strap style adjusters or the Velcro tabs are, you know, in enough to suit your your hair circumference, your head circumference, it's going to jump right up. And I found that. I find that when I make sure that the these are tighter for me with me having a 21-inch head, 
the wig doesn't jump up as much as soon as I put it on. When you put a machine teased wig on, you know, or something that's got a bit of perma in, like the Godiva Secret wigs, some of their wigs, or some of the Noriko wigs, when you put them on, they stay down here. So you have to pull them up to your hairline. Same with natural image wigs, you have to pull them up to your hairline. But I find with like the Amore wigs, you know, or some of the um, mono wigs, like the Naomi wig as well in, in Godiva Secret wigs, when you first put them on, when you're tucking your hair in, the wig jumps up. And sometimes it'll go beyond the hairline, so then you have to take it off and put it on. So just be extra careful when you're putting the wig on to make sure you get it in the right place. And I spoke about this in, you know, the Caliente video that I did and in, um, you know, the last video I did as well on Bella Rose or Rose Bella. I think it's called Rose Bella or Rose, no, Rose Ella, not Rose Bella, Rose Ella. Because, you know, I was just putting the wig on in the camera and then realising, hang on, I need to actually look in the mirror. So I've, I've got my Hollywood mirror here, which I'm going to put here, so I can put her on properly with you and get her in the right place. Because this is a very light wig and I know if I don't put it on properly, it's going to look crazy. So I'm excited about this wig. Now let's have a look at the colour together. So, you know, you can see this is an extended lace as well. So it goes all the way down. So, you know, you're going to get a very natural loop with this wig. And I've just sewn in two wig clips to secure the wig as well. So let's have a look that. Look at this colour. Brown sugar, sweet cream. So to me, this is kind of, I mean, you can tell it's got that kind of highlighted blonde effect. It's really pretty. So this is the kind of hair that if someone is wearing, if someone's got this colour hair when I go out and I see them, I'm looking at the hair. You know, because I'm always complimenting people on the hair. I love your hair. And I love this kind of highlighted blonde look. So it's kind of got these um, light brown pieces and blonde pieces. We could say this is dark blonde and light blonde pieces. Or light brown and blonde pieces, however you see this. Because remember, you know, I'm a daily wig wearer like you. You know, that means I see what I see with the wig. Let me just move my mirror out of the way because it's in my face when I'm talking. Oh, I don't want that there. So, you know, I, I'm not like a wig review where, oh, I know everything about these wigs. I'm, I've just created this channel because I love wigs as much as you do. And, you know, when I'm looking at this wig, I see this as a gorgeous blend of brown and blonde. And that's stunning. You know, this is a head turner wig. And the fact that it's such a gorgeous, sleek style as well. So light. I can't stress enough to you how light this wig is. So if you're after a really light wig, this could be your wig. And I love the sleekness of it, the way it goes into the neck. You know, it's got lots of movements as well. And it's just really pretty. And you can see how natural, look at that for the scalp effect. Look how natural it is. So you know you're going to see the scalp you know, effect on your, on your hairline, you know, on your, on your, on your, you know, the party. So it's going to be such a natural part. So let's get her on there. So brown sugar, sweet cream. So you may want to get a little comb or, you know, a brush or something to give it a little brush through. All I've done is I have partied this because it was partied with the crisscross parting and I've tried her on. What I do find with this wig, and it's going to be interesting to have a look together, is it feels very high on my head. Like my forehead feels really big when I'm wearing this wig. So I may have to put a little heat on it, because it's heat friendly anyway, to get the hair into style, but we'll see. So let's get my hair prepped. So I've washed my hair today, so my hair is wet. And what I'm going to start doing, I think, because I've been putting two bobbles in, and with this being such a light wig, if I put two bobbles in, you may, I may feel it at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top bit of my hair and instead of putting it in a bobble, I'm going to put it in a baby plait without a band. So this is just what I was thinking about doing this morning. So I'm just plaiting that little back bit there and then I'm going to grab, let me take my earrings off so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to grab a band and I'm going to put that bit in there. So obviously when you wash your hair, you know what it's like when you wash your hair, it's all fly away. So I'm going to try and get my own hair as flat as I can to go in this wick. Because obviously my hair right now is growing back. So just like that. So, you know, I've got it as flat as I possibly can with the little bit of bobble at the back. 
Now I'm going to bring in my mirror, okay, so that I can actually make sure I get it in the right place. So I don't want it jumping up. And as I said, just be very aware of that when you're putting on a really light wig, like a, a monofilament wig or a hand-tied wig. So I'm going to get my thumbs at the back where the label is, and I'm going to put the front of the wig about there, and I'm going to tuck in my hair. Now, because I've tightened the adjusters up at the back, it's not jumping up as much. But when I first got this wig, and I first tried it on, it jumped up straight away. So see how it's down there? If those adjusters weren't tight, it already jumped up. So this is why it's so important on a wig like this to make sure it's fitting your head, your head. So I'm grabbing the two adjusters. See it move that? You can see it move that. So I've got the two ear tabs in the right place. And then I'm just going to move the hair out of the way. And before I do anything with it, before I lift it up or anything, I'm actually going to put it into the right party. Because I can see where it wants to part it wants to part there okay i know it looks a bit odd at the moment bear with me okay so it wants to part there so before i lift it up look at this natural hairline here so i'm going to lift it up i only need to go up a tiny bit to get it in the right place just a tiny bit there just making sure it's in the right place for my hairline and then i'm going to clip her in now the thing that i find about this wig because of this dark hairline and because it's so natural, to me, it looks like I've got a massive forehead, okay? I haven't, but that's how this wig makes me feel. So for me, it's about getting used to this hair because this bob, as you can see, look how gorgeous and sleek it is, is exactly what I'm looking for. And I absolutely love this colour. Look at that colour. Brown sugar sweet cream so as i said you've got all these gorgeous highlights through and you'll know yourself you know if you've ever had your hair colored this way i haven't but i bet you felt lovely with it so if you've seen anyone with this color you know you've perhaps thought oh that color's lovely and it is heat friendly so you can use the heat of your hands straight away to start getting this style how you want it and you know you can part this anywhere but you may just have to if you want it parted different than where the party may fall, work with it to get it to fall into the right style for you. So, you know, I'm just playing with it a little bit in the mirror, just having a look at it. You know, this parting, look how natural the parting is. I mean, the thing is as well on the lighting of this video, you may not see exactly how amazing that scalp effect is, but it's absolutely amazing. So before I mess around with it, it may look a bit odd because I've just put it on. And, you know, I've actually gone today from wearing a Lucive wig by Natural Image Wigs, which is a real curly style with lots of height and body, to a real flat style. So it's a little bit of a shock me putting this on my head because obviously it feels like it's really flat. And it is, you know, if you're after a flat style, you can, I don't think you can get a flatter wig than this. This is one of the flattest wigs, the most natural flattest wigs I've ever had so it feels that way so if we have a look in the mirror together look at that colour there gorgeous look at the way it comes down I'm going to show you from the top so you can see how natural it is and from this side and then I'm going to do a turn and then I'm going to play with the style a little bit so from the side gorgeous double shot bob Double shot, like you have a double shot of coffee in the coffee shop. And look at the movement in it there as well. And from this side, really pretty. Now, the thing I'm finding is, look how it's hanging over. So I'm just looking in the mirror, first of all, to make sure I've got it at my hairline. Because my hair, it feels like it's so high up. Now, you can do it with your four fingers, where you can put them there so you know it's in the right place. Or come really close. Look how natural this hairline is. It may even be because it's an extended lace front why it feels a bit high on my head. But if I put it down any lower, it's not going to look right. Because this is where my hairline is. I feel it's just because I'm not used to, you know, having a wig this flat or in this type of style. So 
I know I'm going to have to work with the style a little bit. So, you know, you may get your straight out of the box and it goes on perfect straight away. And I've seen other wig reviewers reviewing this wig and, you know, the hair is kind of coming over a little bit like that. You know, so obviously you can wear it like that. But for me, the whole point of me getting this wig is so it doesn't do that. Because I don't want a wig that's going to come in my face like that. I want it back. So, and this obviously is a wig from eBay. And the, the, the woman who bought this, you know, she tried it on and put it back in the box. So she may have had a play with the style a little bit. And that's fine. And I'm glad in a way it's kind of sitting up like it is. Because this is how I want it. This is the whole point of me buying this wig over the drive wig. So that it does not fall in my face. So I'm just using the heat of my hands. And you know, the more we talk, the more time goes by. So you can see the whole time I'm talking to you guys and we are discussing this wig, I'm playing with it a little bit. I'm putting heat on it. I'm manipulating the, the style of it to get it to sit nice. And I feel this is sitting quite nice. So you can see the ear tab there. You can see my bio hair. But because of the root, it looks completely natural. So it creates the illusion of it being my natural hair. So clever. And the more now I'm sitting with the wig on, the more it's feeling like my own hair. And I'm getting used to the height of the, the hairline as well. So remember, if you put a wig on, and at first you're like, oh, that feels a bit weird on me, or I'm not sure what I think about that. Instead of taking the wig off, just sit with the wig. And this may be, you know, a practice that you have to get used to, you know, looking in a mirror, maybe sitting looking in a mirror and getting used to the way you look in that particular style, especially if you just want one style. It's different if you're shaking your wigs up and you're wearing all different kinds of styles all the time. Or maybe if you want a wig like this for your daily wig and you've got to get used to it a little bit. So sit with it in front of the mirror. Maybe you want to get yourself a cup of coffee and sit with yourself. Or you want to get a glass of wine and sit with yourself and talk to yourself. And that's a process of self-love, you know, giving yourself that time and attention, appreciating yourself, loving yourself, saying to yourself, I love you. You look amazing. Speaking to yourself, you're going to get more confidence up. And the more you see yourself in the wig and the style of the wig, the colour of the wig, the feel of the wig, the better you're going to feel and the more confident you're going to get. And that's what's happening with me as I'm wearing this wig over 17 minutes. So it feels so nice. The thing I really want to say about this wig, the, the lightness of it, first of all, is a big selling point. It's so light. Can't even tell I've got a wig on. And the feel of the hair is so natural and it's very light. The density of this is, is light. You know, the, the hair feels nice. It feels like your own hair. You know, when you straighten your hair and sometimes you can't stop playing with it. That's how it feels. It's lovely. And, you know, the way it feels on top, so natural. And obviously it's, it's completely flat to the head because it's a monofilament. So it feels that way. And then obviously, you know, there's things you could do. You could put a clip into this. You know, you could put a clip in there. Let's try that. You could put a headband on. I've got my headbands, haven't I? So, you know, put a clip in there. Because obviously with it being a lace front. And, you know, as I said, I know it must look at the moment like my head is huge. That's how it feels like to me. You let me know in the comments section. Maybe you're thinking, oh, Liz, I don't know about that wig because... You know, my forehead seems so big. But again, it's the style of the wig. It's the style of it. I could put my headband in like that. You know, obviously I wouldn't wear a headband like that, really. I do in other styles. But, you know, you could put it off your face in this way. You just have to play around with putting a headband in. And, but I wouldn't want it to be any way than the way I've got it right now. So I work with this style to... Get it as flat as possible like this. And, you know, maybe that means spraying some water on and using your fingers then. Because obviously when you spray water on a style, it slickens it a little bit and it gets rid of any flyaways. But really pretty. But again, like I say to me, it looks like it's high on my head. So if I grab my mirror and I have a look in the mirror, you know, it's absolutely in the right place. 
it just makes me feel like I've got a huge forehead. It really does. But, you know, that's just getting used to the style. But, you know, it's a great wig. It's beautiful. The way it feels and everything is really nice and natural. So from the side, from the back, lovely. And from this side, really pretty. So if you're after a little short bob that stays out of your face, as you can see, it's not in my face in any way, shape or form. This may be your wig. And there's nothing worse is than when you've got a wig and it's falling in your face and you've got to train it and it takes ages. It's so like for me, you know, the Nolan wig by Rennie of Paris was just too much in my face. And, you know, I've never worn that wig. I've got the wig and obviously I know I can train it, but it's finding the time to do that. But it's a gorgeous wig, but it just falls in my face. And I'm really excited because in the next video... I've got Blair Wig by Rennie of Paris, which I've wanted for ages, and I've got it in the gorgeous colour shaded amber. So in the next video, we're going to be reviewing that together. But this is Double Shot Bob, heat friendly, and this is by Beltras, who I love. I'm absolutely loving Beltras styles. And this is in the colour Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, which in my opinion is stunning. It's a gorgeous colour, really is nice really pretty and it's so natural looking and the more as I said I'm getting used to wearing it the better it's feeling on me the more natural it's looking on me so I don't feel it is that my forehead looks huge it's just because I haven't worn a style like this for a while you know it's a bit like but it's just getting used to it which as I said is sitting with yourself and that's what I'm doing with you, you know, and I'm talking to you, but I'm also sitting with myself, looking in the mirror, getting used to the style. So at home, you may want to do that, looking in your own mirror with a glass of wine or a drink or, you know, just getting used to the way you look. Maybe even getting in the mirror and having a look at different sides and seeing what you think. But I really do like it. And it's such, you know, a great wig to have in the wig closet as well, if you want to wear a little short bob. But you can see how versatile it is, just using the heat of my hands. I mean, you know, I've got my heat styler here. I thought, oh, I might have to put some heat on it to get it to stay out my face. But it's doing it automatically because I'm using the heat of my hands. And obviously, I sprayed a little bit of water on as well. And it's just gone into style very nicely. And if I did find that it was falling in my face, you know, what I tend to do before I go out sometimes, I mean, this, this clip's a little bit big. I've got a, a, short, a smaller one here. Look at the size of the difference in that one. Just get a small bobby pin like this before I was going out anywhere. And I just put a little clip in like that to hold it out of my face. And I could either go out with that clip in or I would take it out just before I go out. And I've done that with a few of my natural image wigs. I've done that with Fantasy Wig especially to hold it out of the face. But your heat, because it's heat friendly, remember... You, you've got heat on your hands, you rub your hands together, you can feel the heat and you do that and it does it for you. So it's like using a heat styler anyway. But this side staying out of my face, wonderful. This one, this side's just taking a tiny bit of work. But I know that if I, if I decided to part it anywhere else, and you can, you know, if I wanted to part it more central or over this way, then obviously I'd have to change it a little bit and spend a bit more time maybe using a heat styler or, you know, hot air from a hairdryer to blast it into place. But I'm quite liking it where it's decided to go. And this is kind of how it was when it came, you know. It wanted to fall into this style. But I'm really liking it. It's really pretty. Really pretty. And I feel this wig knocks yours off me as well. So I kind of feel like I'm in my 20s in this wig. It's like a wig where I'd go play tennis in it, you know. I feel quite sporty in this wig as well. So it's really nice. I love it. And I really do like the colour. So I'm really glad that, you know, this wig was available on eBay in this colour. Because I think I would have probably bought it in whatever colour it was in. But, you know, I really like this highlighted, you know, blend of blondes and browns. And it reminds me a little bit of, of the marble brown H colour from Good Iver Secret Wigs. You know, because I've got that colour in um, Erin wig. And I've got it in another wig. Um, I can't think what he says, but I've got it. I've definitely got it in the Aaron wig, and it's very similar to the colour. Beautiful. So double shot Bob, heat friendly from Beltras and Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Let me know what you think in the comment section.
really pretty, lovely, really love the style as well. And the more I wear it, the more I'm getting used to it, really pretty. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.